Now the first story is a great story. It's about two brothers that are passionate about tools and about design. They saw this opportunity to combine that technology with digital manufacturing to pursue two of their passions, mass customization and electric guitars. But to make their guitars truly custom, they included their customers in the process. Now the coolest thing about it is that I was manipulating the actual model so I would get just what I wanted. Isn't that beautiful? Now let's go from custom-made guitars to badass sports cars. Let me introduce to you the 2014 Aston Martin Vanquish. So the whole, the whole design process started with the lead designer capturing his vision in some concept sketches. He used Sketchbook Pro. He started the process off digitally. Now once the design had taken shape, they CNC'd a clay model. They hand sculpt it to create the next design iteration. They laser scan it and they bring it back into Alias where they create the Class A production surfaces. So thanks to this new workflow, Aston Martin has been able to build the best car they've ever made and they got it to market in record time. Catherine Crawford was injured during live fire training with the 101st Airborne and she ended up losing her lower leg. So their challenge was to design a prosthetic leg that would work in a variety of outdoor conditions. Now Bill and Jeff had never worked together before and they lived hundreds of miles apart. What they did is they used Autodesk 360 as their collaboration tool so that Jeff could keep up with Bill's work, you know, as it changed and evolved. And when Jeff needed to give specific feedback, he could actually interact with the real model. So when they needed to get Catherine's input, for example, she connected to the project using the A360 mobile app on her iPad. And the cool thing is, nobody had to take any time to prepare this model for her. It was just automatically there. So today I've been talking about going outside to find your competitive edge. And there are a few companies I've seen that are doing this as well as our next guest. They're a company in San Francisco called Bot and Dolly. Now these folks love two things, robots and movies. They started by basically putting a camera on the end of an industrial robot arm. And they invented a brand new workflow built around Maya. So now they can animate the robots in real life the way artists animate digital movie characters. Cool. That's really nice. 